Hello, and welcome to Leo's Lockpad. Um, I forgot I had this, so we're going to pick and gut it. It is a Lickle Squire Core that I rescued from an old padlock that was absolutely trashed. Um, and then when I opened it up, I realised it's, you know, it's got a copper bottom, uh, brass bottom, sorry, uh, brass core, and... When I opened it up and found what was inside, I was surprised. I was really surprised with such a, a tiny little core. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pick it and we're gonna gut it. And I do think it's it is a cute little core. So, such a tiny thing. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna use a Goso pick for this and. Hold my tension wrench. I'm going to do top of the keyway. Just if I don't drop it first. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Getting some movement as well on the core there. So, it's got sneaky little spools in this. And there we go. Unlocked. And I, I know it was a quick pick, but I know the order it was in. Um, really, it was just to demonstrate and show you what's, uh, what's in this core. With it being so small. And uh, I think it's cool for the, for the size of it. Such a little thing. Back one off. There we go. We're off. Right, let's get this down here. We'll see a bit more clearly. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to send this out backwards because I don't have a follower with the missing, you know, the groove so you can fit it into there. So we're going to have to do it backwards. But let's see. There's number, there's number four, number three, number two, and number one. I think that's it. Yes. Let me look at this little tiny core. I'll put that there in a minute. Um, Let's have a look. There's the inside of that, and it springs. I'll have to shim that as well to put that back on. And let's have a look at these pins. It's like a little baby spool. Such a tiny thing, that. Uh, number four, uh, number three is the same, I think. There we go. Another one. Because it did give me a false set. That's a slightly deeper one, that one. And last but least, which is number one. Driver pin. Now, let's have a look at these. These key pins. Make sure I do this backwards as well. Oh, we're just on a standard. That was number one. That's a standard. Number two is a standard. Number three is being shy. Here we go. And we got number three out. There's the core. So you can see it's been battered at the front at some point, but such a nice little uh, 
technical tiny core is a machine to be even bit it, especially no um I gutted it and it's got all these in it. Tiny little things. Look at the size of them. All this small I mean, compared to the size of normal ones. That's dodgy. It is. Um I know it's only a, a short video, but Thought maybe someone out there might enjoy that for the for the size of it. Such a tiny little core. I've I've seen cheap Chinese cores that are very small. And for example, I've got one somewhere. Spare one, is that one? New no. got one. Oh right, here we go. I'll just show you quickly. Uh, I kept one for a reference. There we go. It's a four pin. And you can tell it's cheap, really cheap. All the pe all the the weight saving and the saving of materials, as you see, just parts missing. And as you see, this is a uh, a squire core. Uh, that's what that little core was. Sorry, I meant to tell you in the first place. It's a squire core. As you can see, solid brass. Nice and smooth, not skimpy on materials, nice and round, very weighty compared to cast um, crap, absolute junk. This is what you generally get in really bad cheap Chinese locks, especially bike locks or anything like that. And this is what you would get, obviously, even in big locks, uh, a solid core. But um, yeah, yeah, I hope you were... Uh, that video was okay for you. Um, yeah, and I do apologise. I forgot, forgot to tell you that the lock was a originally a Squire padlock. Similar to this one. Um, so, yeah. I think it was a very, very cute little core. That, and the fact that it came with um, spools and that. It's cool. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And bye.